Imagine someone checking out your account and all they get is this. When what they could be experiencing is this. If you're an artist in 2022 and you still don't have a website, what are you doing, mate? Maybe you think you just don't need a website. Or maybe you just think that Instagram is good enough to send a client. Maybe you don't want to earn money from your art, so you don't think a website is necessary. Or perhaps you click this video because you don't have a website, but now you're kind of curious to know why you should definitely get one. And today's video is sponsored by Hostinger, but I'll talk more about that later. No matter if you're a professional artist or just like to draw your OCs for fun, you should definitely have a website and take it from someone who has had a website since I was 10 years old. That's 20 years of online presence and 20 years of experience. So listen up. We are so lucky to live in a digital world. You no longer have to walk from publisher to publisher knocking doors down with a 30 page printed portfolio under your arm. Potential clients and supporters can find you online without you even having to lift a finger. And it all comes down to having a website that can be found through something as simple as a Google search. But first, I want to convince you why having a website is way better than using social media sites like Instagram and Twitter. Because I get the feeling that using social media for your artwork is the main excuse for not having a website. And I'm definitely not saying you shouldn't use Instagram or Twitter for your artwork, but I'm just saying that you shouldn't use it as your portfolio. And here's why. Okay, so number one, your social media account is likely not just a collection of your best works. When a potential client visits your, let's say, Instagram account, they're not going to quickly be able to filter your best works from all the other posts that you might have. The more energy someone has to spend on your account, the less likely they are to take the next steps. So having a website designed for a specific kind of work that you want to do, and that is targeted at a specific types of clients, increases your chances of getting hired. Reason number two, cropping. Social media sites crop our artwork. We don't want a potential client to see our artwork all cropped up and pixelated. On a website, you can feature your work in high quality, in whatever order you decide, and as small or big as the artwork requires. And number three, social media distracts. If you use your social media account as a portfolio, a potential client can easily get distracted and navigate away from your content, even if their intention was to check you out. There are distractions all over social media sites, other users, status updates, menus, likes, comments, you name it. On your personal website, there are no distractions leading your visitor away from your work. Social media is actually a great way to be initially discovered, but you want to make sure that your visitors can easily navigate to your website. If you are or want to be a professional artist, having your own website not only shows clients that you're very serious about your work, it's also a chance for you to show a bit more about you as a person. Think of your online portfolio kind of like a modern digital resume. It's like a job interview where you don't even have to be present because you already put all the work into your website. Even if you're not a professional artist and have no interest in actually earning money from your art, think of your personal website kind of like a universe for you without any rules. If you have a webtoon or you have OCs, you can make dedicated pages to your characters so your followers can go in and learn more about them. And if you're a commission artist, it's a no-brainer that you need a place where people can go and look up your commission info and maybe even place an order. Having an online presence is not just for the professionals making a living from their work. It's for me, it's for you, it's for your dog, your grandma, it's for everyone. So now that you know why you must have a personalized website for your art, how do you go about and get started? Today I'm going to show you how you can use Hostinger to create a fully customized website for your artwork. Hostinger is yet the most affordable solution I have found to web hosting to date. And while Hostinger does not offer a free solution, they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee so that if you regret your decision within 30 days, you get all your money back. Price quality wise, you get a lot of value for your money here. Let me show you how it works. You can choose between free plans, single, premium or business. You can see all the included services to each plan if you scroll down. So in this video, I'll be using the premium shared hosting plan. And the reason I'm going with the premium plan over the single plan is simply because of some of the key features that you get for just one additional dollar a month. First of all, you get a free domain for an entire year. A domain is your custom web address. 
Having a custom domain just further adds to the professionalism of your website and it makes it easier to search for. You also get 100 gigabyte of storage. This will include all the data and images you upload to your website. And you get unlimited bandwidth. This means that when you start getting traffic on your site, you'll be able to actually host all of your visitors. It also simply means that your website loads faster, which automatically ranks it higher in search engines. And obviously the free SSL certificate. You need an SSL certificate to make your website secure. So that's a no brainer. So I personally recommend using the premium plan if you're serious about your portfolio, but you can always start with a single plan and upgrade the plan later once your budget allows it. So once you have selected the plan, you'll get to this page. You usually pay annually for website solutions. This is not a special case for Hostinger. That's the general procedure. Yearly billing is also way cheaper compared to monthly billing. And as you can see, you can choose to pay for 12, 24 or 48 months right away. The monthly fee for the first year is the same, but at the bottom here you can see what your site will renew for in one year from now. And if you add my special coupon Natty Axel, you save some additional percentages on top of the ongoing deals. Depending on which deals are ongoing when you check out their site, my coupon can save you up to 91% on yearly plans. That's a pretty crazy deal. Just remember to use my link in the description below or type in postinger.com slash Natty Axel when you visit their site and then add the coupon Natty Axel at checkout. Once you have purchased your plan and logged into your account, you'll see this front page. Click the hosting menu up here at the top. Here you can see your hosting plan and there's a button here that says set up. So let's click that. I'm going to hold your hand through this process because you only need to set this up once. Click start now to continue. Here Hostinger will ask you a little about who you are and what kind of website you'll be making. This is basically just Hostinger trying to help you get started. And here you'll get a few options in regard to which platform you want to build your website on. Remember, Hostinger is first and foremost a web hosting service. You'll need to use a different platform to actually build and design your website, but it will all be controlled from and hosted by Hostinger. We'll get back to this in a bit, so for now, just hit skip. If you selected at least the premium plan, now's the time to claim your free domain. I'm going to use artbynadjaaxel.com and luckily for me, the domain is available. Then hit continue. Lastly, we need to select our server location. The rule of thumb is pick the server closest to your target audience's location. I know that over one fourth of my followers are from the United States, so I'll select the North American server. Then you can finish the setup. There's a little additional setup for the domain here, so fill it out using your own info and finalize the registration for your domain. Now Hostinger is setting up everything for you. You can choose to view your site, but right now it's not so exciting because it's just a placeholder site because we haven't built anything yet. The really fun part starts now. Before I start the actual designing, it's a really good idea to take a step back and make a plan over the kind of content you want on your website. What I like to do is draw some kind of a mini flowchart. It's an overview of your website's main pages and sub pages. A flowchart also shows which sub pages belong to which parent pages, if you will. If you're designing a portfolio for your artwork, your flowchart might look a little bit like this. Feel free to take inspiration from this flowchart and customize it to your liking. Once we have the plan and the flowchart, we are ready to start designing our site. With Hostinger, I personally recommend you go with either of two options, WordPress or Syro. Let's start with WordPress. And I know that you might be thinking, oh, WordPress overwhelms me. It is comprehensive and for more tech savvy people. Actually, WordPress requires no prior experience and with Hostinger, you have free access to this great website building tool called Elementor. It only requires you to set up your page once and we're going to do that together now. So that in the future, all you have to worry about is designing your kick-ass portfolio. And if I may, the best part is WordPress is completely free. If you build your website with WordPress, there are no additional costs on top of your Hostinger plan. Okay, take a deep breath in. Locate your hosting a service from the dashboard and click manage. From here, scroll down and find the auto installer button. Select WordPress, fill out the form and create a username and a password for your WordPress dashboard. Then click next. 
On this screen, just accept the recommended settings and hit install. Hostinger has now created a WordPress profile for you. From here, hit edit website. This should take you to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are here, locate appearance in the left menu and click on themes. Click add new theme. It's important that you follow these steps and download the theme called Astra. Once you have installed Astra, activate it. Once that's done, click the get started button up here. Now click build your website now and select Elementor as your page builder. If no themes show up for you on this next page, just click on the logo up here to refresh the site. Now you can choose from a variety of website templates. All of the templates that aren't marked as premium are free to use. I'm going to go over this one called Freelance Artist. Add your logo, choose your color scheme, fonts and hit continue. Hang in there guys, we're almost done. Fill in the form and submit that sucker. The site is now being built for you. The hardest part is over. You can breathe out now. <laughs> and now we're done setting up your site. You don't have to go through that process again unless you change your theme at a later point. You can preview your site now if you want. The site is filled with dummy content from the theme that we just picked. To customize your website, scroll down on your dashboard and locate Elementor Overview and click the little pencil icon next to the page that you want to edit. Now you can edit your site, replace all the text and images from the dummy design with your own content. You can also delete or add sections to your liking. It's basically a drag and drop website editor. If you want to edit stuff like the menu items though, you actually have to go back into your WordPress dashboard go to appearance and choose to customize your current theme. In here you're not changing your design on the website but more the structure of your site. I know it can seem a bit confusing having to move around different editors depending on the changes that you want to make, so that's why there's also an alternative to WordPress if this solution is a bit too comprehensive for you. Let's take a step back to before we installed WordPress. From your hosting a homepage, you can select this option here called Syro Website Builder. Hit get and then get started. Syro is a easy to use website builder that's an alternative to using WordPress. It is an additional service to hosting so be aware that using Syro costs you an additional fee on top of your hosting a plan. The price is pretty similar to that of hosting though and you can save a lot on yearly plans here as well. Just be aware that my coupon code only works for hosting a plans and not Syro. And remember that my coupon code Natty Axel will give you up to 91% off on yearly hosting a plans. If you already have a hosting a plan, you can actually get started with Syro for free. In fact, you can build your entire site for free just to see if you like the builder and you'll only have to pay once you're ready to publish the website. You don't even have to register a credit card so there are no excuses, just hit start for free. Select create new website and choose to use a template. I'm going with this Marcia Coco website. Okay, now this is probably going to be one of the most intuitive website builders you have ever tried. Everything here is drag and drop and fully customizable. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to use website builders, I'm just here to get you started setting up your website. Whether you choose to use WordPress for free or pay a little more extra for Syro, both options offer a drag and drop site builder. It all comes down to your budget and your preference. So now I'm going to tell you about five crucial mistakes to avoid when building your website. Mistake number one, forgetting mobile friendliness. A lot of your website's visitors are probably checking you out from their phone, so make sure your site is mobile friendly. No matter if you use WordPress or Syro, your site is already optimized to be responsive but always locate the little phone view icon and check if your website looks great on the phone. Number two, not sticking to a theme. Both WordPress and Syro allows you to customize a global theme for your website. Be sure to stick to the theme. Use the same color scheme, the same font and button styles across all pages. If you use too many colors, shapes and fonts, it's going to look incredibly messy and it might throw off a lot of your visitors. Mistake number three, no contact info. Remember to add a contact form or make your email address visible on the website. You want to make it as easy as possible for visitors to reach out to you. You can use your existing email address or if you got a premium plan with Hostinger, create a custom email address with your domain name in it. If a potential client can't find a way to contact you easily, chances are that they will give up pretty fast and just move on. 
Mistake number four, no updates slash activity on your website. Remember to regularly update your website, add new artwork, update your about section or FAQ page, or you could host a blog on your website as a way to bring in fresh topics. When people visit your website once in a while and see that nothing new is going on, they'll stop coming back as frequently. Try to update with something once a month or every other month to show your visitors that you're still active. And lastly, mistake number five, not optimizing your site for search engines. Search engine optimization, also called SEO, refers to the process of improving your site to increase its visibility when people use search engines like Google. So if someone, for instance, searches for freelance artist and you're a freelance artist, you'll want your website to rank as high in the search results as possible. If your website does not show up in the top results when someone searches for your artist name online, then you need to improve your site now. Not tomorrow, not later today, now. And here are a few simple things that you can do to optimize your site. Reuse keywords in your text on your website and prioritize them in headers and URLs. Keywords could for instance be freelance artist, digital artist, art commissions or whatever your services and site is about. Link building. Use links on your website. Links can be put on images, text and buttons. Link internally to your own pages on your website or link out to high quality websites. If your page topic is related to the topic of the outgoing link, the score of your page is higher compared to linking to something that's irrelevant to your topic. Mobile friendliness. I'm mentioning this one here as well because you rank higher in search results if your site is optimized for mobile view. And lastly, the speed of your website. The faster your site loads, the higher it ranks. Ideally, your site should load in 2.5 seconds or faster. But what can you do to minimize load time? If you decide to use WordPress with Hostinger, you can use a plugin called Lightspeed, which is a service developed for the only purpose of making your website as lightning fast as possible. I've listed some links to SEO resources in the description, so check them out if you want to learn more. And here's the site that I built with WordPress using the free builder Elementor. Remember that using WordPress with Hostinger comes at no additional cost. And here's the site that I built with Syro. Remember that Syro comes at an additional cost on top of your hosting a plan, but if you're not into WordPress at all, then it's a wonderful solution. I really enjoy building my website, just in general, and doing it with Hostinger has been a real pleasure. Their WordPress auto-installer made it surprisingly easy for me to get back into WordPress, even though it's been years since I last tried forces with it. And Hostinger even guarantees a 99.9% .9 uptime for your website. And the fact that you can get a free domain for a whole year along with a custom email address, uh, it's just pretty mind-blowing. <laughs> And with Hostinger, you can actually try out both WordPress and Syro at the same time to see which solution fits you better. If you're an artist in 2022, you need a website. No matter how good you are or whether or not you intend to actually make money from your art, you still need an online presence. And with a personalized website, you can tell your story however you want with no restrictions and no distractions. Remember to use the coupon code NattyAxel to save up to 91% of a yearly plan with Hostinger. And remember, if you want to check out Hostinger, use the link in the description below because that is actually an affiliate link. So you'll be supporting me big time and at no additional cost for you. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications to see more videos in the future. Thanks so much to you guys for watching this video and to Hostinger, of course, for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel and providing an awesome service. Until next time, take care.